Have you ever wondered what's in the centre of the galaxy? Well, could it be a cosmic vacuum cleaner? Or could it just be a dent in space-time? Actually, it's both! It's a supermassive black hole! The black hole is formed when a star, really big, explodes. So imagine this is a really big star. Then it explodes in a supernova explosion. A supernova is now a supernova it looks like a star that shines brighter than all the others, but it's actually an explosion. So if you have a star here that, that, that explodes in a supernova, it can, turn, it can turn into a pulse up. Or it can turn into a black hole. So a supermassive black hole forms when two black holes wander off, wander off, and then they hit each other. Or they burst into each other. What would happen if they got too close to a black hole? The event horizon is a place of no escaping black holes. So, so remember the vacuum cleaner I mentioned earlier? So if something went here, it could escape, but if it went here, it could not escape. Then it would go through, and, and then it would go through the vacuum cleaner and, do an, and into a new universe. A thing that happens around the, the event horizon is something called spaghettification. So do you have, so a spaghettification is like this. So if I get it to vibrate, I can pull on each side and it will stop vibrating. But then it only have it on Earth. If I keep pulling it, it snaps. And that's what happens to do inside black holes to represent spaghettification. It happens because there's more gravity pulling on your legs. Imagine this is an astronaut plunging into a black hole. He falls along here and fought past the event horizon. But amazingly, her crew members, members in the rocket ship only see her go like this. Then she, then she freezes at the event horizon because in sharp black holes, time slows down. Well, it's important to understand about black holes because one day they might suck up Earth.